Morning everybody. Tuesday morning. Hope everyone's well. Uh, boot camp this week. Posted it out Sunday. It's on, it was yesterday at 6 and Friday at 6. Got maybe three new clients coming on Friday, so it should be fun. Always enjoy welcoming new clients, see how they go. Monitor progress through, see what they want to do, what they want to achieve. I love it when people's got loads of goals they want to achieve and stuff. Because that, that's aim at game, innit? Getting to your goals. So, um, what I want to talk to you about this morning were, what's the rest of the year going to look, look like for you? I sort of noticed the other day, and it was something my coach talked about as well, where it's sort of coming up to Christmas, innit? And I get it. People are just like switched off now and they think, ah, I'll start again next year. And that's fine. I understand that. But you've got to remember, it's still a quarter of a year. It's a long time, isn't it? And it's well early to switch off. We've still got three months to go at, which is a long, long, long time. I know what I want to do. Morning, Victoria. I know what I want to do. But you've got to remember, it is a massive amount of time, three months. Um, so if you've written it off already... It's a long way to go to do nothing and wait till January. Um, but I get it. Christmas is coming. It's a fun time. We're all going to get drunk. We're all going to go out and party and whatever else. But like, I I know because I used to do it and I used to, round about this time of year, I just think, screw it, I'd wait. And then New Year's resolution kicks in. I'd be on that bit every year where I'm going to eat healthier. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to make sure I'm good at gym. I'm going to join a gym because that always helps. I'm going to start doing this. I'm going to start doing that. And be February. It's just gone. Forget it. <laughs> it never happens. But I, I realised yesterday, um, of a, probably the last month, gyms are getting a little bit emptier. It's just going down. I walked in yesterday and I was just like, you were just dead. I think he wasn't. Where's everybody gone? And they must have given up. They must have, or they must have just... I don't know, because over the last month, like I said, it's just gone slowly, slowly down. And now it's to the point where it's just like, I can imagine January. I hate January. If you're a gym goer, nobody likes January because you're gut and it's absolutely snided. You can't get on out and you're just waiting all the time for people that are sat on the phone, texting 10 minutes and then do another set. And you're like, come on, you just want to get in and get it done. I like 45 minutes in gym, get home. That's me done. I don't like to do anymore. You don't need to do anymore. But like I said, it, it's, January's resolutions never last. February, forget it. They've gone. Uh, so like I said, we've got to break as bad habits. If we let them settle in now, if you've been doing been at gym for the last three or four months or whatever you've been doing and you're going to let your bad habits settle in now, what are you going to be like at Christmas time? By the time in another three months? They're going to be pretty much cast in there, aren't they? They're going to be stuck. It's going to be hard. We need to break them. We need to stop complaining. And we need to make change where it's needed. If you've started something, see it through. See it through to end of 2021. Make a big difference. I guarantee you. Um, but I've, I want to make some changes from now till Christmas. I'm still going. I'm going to go right up to New Year's Eve. My, my year doesn't end till New Year's Eve. I'm going to make sure I spend more time with kids. I'm going to spend at least four sessions a week in gym. Make sure, because I'm going to plan it. It's going to be in there. I'm going to plan some more relaxed time, downtime, because I don't have any, or very, very rare. Um, and I'm going to spend more time on my personal development. So from now till New Year's Eve, it's going to be one of the best three months for me. Because I've planned it, I know what I'm doing, I know what my goals are, and I'm going to push exactly to what I want. I'm not going to wait till January comes, get a New Year's resolution that's just going to fail in February. No way. So, we've got three months left. What can you do in three months? Where are you going to be? How are you going to make it better? You can do it, I guarantee you. But no hiding, no excuses. Excuses are weak. It's just, a, it's just something to tell everyone why we couldn't do something because either we can't be asked well more than likely because we can't be asked let's just be real about it it isn't it uh, there's gonna be no pity partying i'm not going to compare myself to others 
I'll be concentrating on myself and my clients. But I'm not all going to allow myself to go backwards. If you allow yourself to go backwards now, wait until Christmas because you're on a you're on a downward spiral to Christmas. Honest to God, by Christmas can be a lot worse because if you're not happy now, where are you going to be in three months? You're going to be a lot. You're going to be a lot worse off. If you've got weight on by Christmas, you're going to have a lot more weight weight on if you're doing nothing about it. Guarantee. But anyway, don't allow yourself to go backwards. Make the difference. Keep pushing. So I want to talk about one of my clients. Um, and this, honest to God, great mindset. We do boot camps twice a week. And they've been coming, like, we used to them three times a week, but they'd always come at least twice. We always have a, a warm-up run. Really, really struggled with this run. Really out of breath. Chest on fire, struggled to break through it. Smashed it yesterday. For the first time, smashed it yesterday. It's just from being consistent. Keeping a diet good and then keep trying. Never give up. Yesterday, did it. Signed up for a 5k run before Christmas. So from now till Christmas, they've got an absolute plan of what they're going to do. And they're going to do this 5k run. For charity. I think it's awesome. Because that is something now that they're going to work on right up till Christmas. And it's something that's going to be a mega achievement for somebody that struggled to run for a couple of minutes. Struggled getting out of breath going for a walk. Signed up for a 5k run. If they can do it, you can do it. Guaranteed. But like I said, if you're not happy now, where are you going to be if you don't do anything? Till January. But I understand. Some people like to just switch off and wind down. It's not very good. Keep going. If you're not happy now, you're not gonna be happy at Christmas. You're gonna be worse. And I always find if if you do nothing, you're gonna get nothing. Break the habits and just keep pushing. It'll it'll make a difference. Um it's gonna get darker. It's going to get rainy, it's going to get unpleasant being outside, it's going to be cold. And that is unpleasant, but it's more unpleasant sat where you are now. Because you won't be watching these videos, or you won't be trying to make a difference, or thinking you want to make a difference, if you were to totally happy. So you've got to choose your unpleasant. What do you want? Right, that's all I've got for you guys. Um, if you need me, drop me a message. Um, otherwise, I shall see you in the morning. Enjoy.